designers, builders, and engineers are showing plenty of can-do spirit, creating beautiful structures out of canned food for the ninth annual Construction LA. Our food coach, Lori Corbin, was on hand to check out the art and do a little nutrition label reading. The most amazing thing about construction is build night, uh, seeing these structures come from just a big pile of cans. Ten architect and design teams pulled an all-nighter for the ninth annual event. Construction LA's Damian Carroll says what started in New York City 20 years ago is now an LA staple. Construction is a charity of the architecture and design community. Construction, which is tied into Thursday's downtown LA Art Walk, is a creative way for architects to give, but the public can help too. People can come between uh, today, uh, Thursday, and Sunday and vote for their favorite structures. For a dollar a ticket, anyone can pop in and vote for their favorite. For every dollar, we're able to turn that into four meals because we're dealing with donated food on an ongoing basis. The LA Regional Food Bank has partnered with Construction LA for years. CEO Michael Flood says, yes, the economy's better, but many remain food insecure. And we're still dealing with a situation where one in six people in our community are struggling with food. Last year, all told, there were over 28,000 cans of food in these structures. This year, so much more. There'll be over 44,000 cans of food delivered to the LA Food Bank. Teams select cans for color, shape, and size, but also what's in the cans. In fact, there's an award for best meal. We give out awards for the best uh, structure of jurors' favorite, the best use of labels. Any grocer can stack cans. We wanted to make these cans kind of fly. And BBJ Architects teamed up with designers from Thornton Thomas Esty. Their thought? Let's try to build an arch and then came at it from all different angles. So we're going through eight feet high. And Charlie Thornton of Steinberg Architects says for their Miss Pac-Man creation, they started planning, phasing, and fundraising in December. Well, we have over 5,000 cans, so... It's close to a dollar a can. You can view and vote until Sunday at 5. Winners will be announced shortly thereafter. Lori Corbin, ABC7 Eyewitness News.